At Car Advice, we do have the best job in the world. As motoring journalists, we get to drive the latest and greatest cars and fly overseas. It really is the stuff that dreams are made of. We wanted to give one lucky person the opportunity to experience it for themselves. After receiving hundreds of entries, three talented finalists will battle it out to be the 2015 Car Advice Correspondent. Our finalists are going to be put through a series of pretty tough challenges. Now you've got to go pick up those finalists from the airport and I've got to go out to our secret location to prep the track. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning then. It all begins right now. Anton and Mandy have flown in to join us while Doug is a Sydney local. All of our finalists seem very excited, yeah. but they have no idea just how much fun they're going to have tomorrow. We're all up and ready for an early start. The sun is rising at our secret test location and our three Mazda MX-5s are prepped and ready to go. Here they come, our three finalists, Anton, Doug and Mandy. Anton is a 28-year-old mechanical engineer from Nooseville in Queensland. Doug is 30 years old, he's from Roselle in New South Wales and is a media manager. Mandy's a radio announcer, she's 28 and from Shepparton in Victoria. Congratulations and welcome to the grand final of the inaugural Car Advice Correspondent Competition. To get started, what we'd like to do is, is introduce you to the judges and their, uh, their, their particular skill sets to try and coach you throughout the day. So if you'd like to make your way over to the classroom. Let's go. Let's go. First up, a coaching session with television presenter Lauren Phillips. She'll give the contestants some advice and guidance on their presentation for the upcoming video challenge. Once you start to get a real interest in lighting and how you look, you know where you look best. And remember, it's not all about you. Today we're talking about the cars, so you need to make sure the car looks as sexy as you guys want to look yourselves. Next up, some expert advice from Australian rally ace Chris Atkinson. He takes the contestants through seating position and dishes out some driving tips. Everyone thinks racing is about being rough and aggressive. It's not. It's actually your, uh, your fine motor skills. That sort of smoothness, that gentle feel is what I think would make a, a good journalist from a driver's point of view anyway. Before the official challenges get underway, there's one more training session with Car Advice founder Al Balls Folar and associate publisher James Ward giving the finalists a crash course on a day in the life of a motoring journalist. For news in particular, you do need to get the message across first and foremost. Think about what you're going to ask, uh, think about the angle, think about how that's relevant to the buyer and uh, good luck. What you are taking part in now is a press conference. Now you can see that you've been given your media pack which includes all the tools that you need with the iPad in order to not only cover this press conference, but email uh, what you're doing back to Albors so that we can publish it on the site. Carla, I would like to hand over. Good morning. Welcome to you all. My name's Carla Leach and I'm the Public Relations Manager for Mazda Australia. It's been a long time between MX-5 launches, so we're thrilled to finally be here at the launch today. A lot's changed in the market in the last 26 years. However, with our Kodo design philosophy, Sky Active technology, our new sharper pricing, we think that the all new ND model can at least equal the sales peak back in 2006. Question Time gave our contestants the opportunity to get a little bit more information for their stories. Now begins the first challenge. Our finalists have just 30 minutes to file a news story with Albors before the embargo lifts. All right, judges, how do we think they're going? Well, we've, uh, we've been paying pretty close attention to um, the way that the guys are handling the press conference here. And obviously, uh, Mandy and Doug are inside sort of feverishly making notes and, and typing away. But Anton's come out using the iPad to, to take That's photos cool. of the cars. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's a big uh, thing. But I'm worried that he's going to run out of time. We do have a pretty concrete embargo on when this lifts, so we'll need to translate that into a, a written and submitted story. There's only time for a quick break before it's straight into challenge two. Very important for us here at Car Advice is producing a video review of the all new Mazda MX-5. Basically what we're gonna do, you all have two hours uh, to go out to a section of the road here with your own car and your own videographer uh, to produce a review of the MX-5. Dave and Tegan, uh, lucky dip, who wants to go first? Mandy? Yeah, I'll go. First up, I closed, oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
If you could read out what's on the tag. The Mitch. That'd Mitch. There we go. Yeah. You can join What's Mitch. Done? Excellent. Doug, you're up. Do you want to arm wrestle for it or oh. you go in? Let's go for it. Okay. And you've got a yellow tag. Glenn. There we go. Glenn. Glenn. Go. go right <laughs> at the bottom. <laughs> and you've got... Christian. Hey. <laughs> Anton and Christian, Mandy and Mitch, Doug and Glenn. Oh, a quick pit stop for some makeup. Better get cracking, guys. You've got a lot to do. With Anton, Doug and Mandy spaced out around the track, the clock is now ticking. Our judges make their way around to observe and give our presenters in training a few pointers. And it's arguably one of the best driver's cars on the market. Looks like with each take he's relaxing and, and sort of getting used to it a yep, lot more. that was a good one. With a 1.5 litre engine. So I just gave him a few tips about speaking as you would write, because all these guys know how to write and make it like you're asking a question and then answer it for the viewer. So he's just doing it again and I think he's gonna, he's gonna kill this one. They've been making MX-5 since 1989. This is the fourth generation. But have they delivered this time around? Great, okay. really, really good. I've just watched one of Mandy's takes yeah, and now Lauren yeah. has given her some tips, but Mandy's actually a bit of a natural. I think she's gonna do yeah. pretty well. Oh, she's nailing it over there, she's doing really well. Go the ladies. Girl power. You don't want a stagnant left leg, you know? It's not meant to be sitting there like a rotting cucumber in the bottom of your fridge. Yeah. Couple, of, right. couple of pointers, like, yes. and, and when, when, when leaving? Yes. Easy. Yeah, no we rush, are, well, there's no rush. A, we're on a road. Well, They're all doing it differently though. Well, that's right, we saw Mandy go in with a script. She'd written a script, she was typical female, very organised. Uh, I'm not, not aware of what that's like. <laughs> Anton, we saw doing a few takes and getting a bit more used to uh, actually relaxing and doing the presentation yeah. itself. So we'll see um, see how they go. I can't wait to see the finished product. Yeah. Okay, good. time is up. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, Anton, how was that? Oh, awesome. It's Feeling great. confident? Yeah, it's great to feel the new car and uh, Short on time, as always, but uh, I got everything mostly that I wanted in there. Did you get everything done that you wanted to get done? I did. When I heard that air horn go, we were just finished doing the last scene. So oh, perfect. just perfect timing. Good timing. Yeah. Um, I made sure I tried to get like the main content out at the start and yep. then we had time for driving shots at the end. So And now the best bit is it's time to eat because you oh, can go yeah. in there and have some lunch. Bring it on. Yep. All right? Yep. <laughs> well done. <laughs> The video team are about to head back to the office in Sydney to edit the packages together. The drama that we do have is the weather. You'll notice the tops are up on the Mazdas. There was a, a spattering of rain just before, so we hope the weather holds off so we can finish uh, with a dry track and uh, roofs down. Luckily, the rain looks like it's going to hold off, so with the wind in their hair, Anton, Doug and Mandy get back out on the track. Well, guys, it's the third and final challenge uh, for today's correspondent uh, correspondent final. And you can see Atco ready and rearing in a MX-5 that's loaded up with cameras ready to go. There is a slalom of uh, cones marked out. You need to weave in and out of the cones. You'll come around, see the short uphill section to come back to this point where you need to parallel park in the garage. Who wants to go first? Do we have any volunteers? Really? You're up? Yes. All, <laughs> right, All right, Anton. Can't jump wait. in and good luck. All right, let's go. Late apex here and you want to get the car nice and flat under braking, which is a bit, bit further down, then brake firm. Just one smooth brake motion is, is okay. the best and then rather than on and off, it upsets the balance. Okay. Little brush of a cone there. Good. And we're in. Over on the, uh, the right side here, we're going to square up for the braking, so through the cones and then braking in a straight line down towards the corner. Now we've got a long, and it tightens up a bit, and then look, look through the corner where you want to go, and then you can get on the throttle earlier. Yep. Okay. Nice and relaxed with your driving, relaxed arms. Yep. Coming up to the uh, asylum here, so we've got to go in there, try not to hit any cones. And off we go. We made it. Perfect. Now let's nail this reverse park. All right. Good work. Lucky last is yep. Doug. Are you ready? Good to go. Let's do it. Jump in. Let's go. 
So for braking, you want to be nice and square, long tightening corner here. Look through the corner where you want to go. That's it, let it open out. Now this is the start of the S's. They tighten up a little bit. Let's do that little lift's good, because that gets the car turned, and then you can get on the throttle a little bit easier. That's good, nice. Let's finish this well. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> There's the three challenges done for the day. Guys, how'd you find it? Oh, outstanding. So much fun. Top notch. Yeah, yeah. couldn't ask for anything yep, better. Totally yeah, totally blown away. Loved it. Yeah, yeah, Tegan, it was really good. We got to drive the car. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're actually not done uh, because while well, you might think that today's been pretty fun, it has been, but I've got some more activities for you to do for tonight. So while you all look lovely, it's time to go back to your hotel rooms, get a bit refreshed, maybe we you know, get all dolled the, up. Yeah, powder yeah. the nose. And then uh, we'll see you tonight back at the Caravice office for the final deliberation and announcement of who will be the correspondent. So they've gone now, which means we can be honest with you guys. How are oh. you guys feeling so far? Man, why did we even bother? Just, it's just, <laughs> no, no, it's been they, impressive. They, yeah, no, it? honestly, they've all done a fantastic job today. Uh, really impressed. There's some standout moments from, from each of them in, in all of the three tasks we set. But uh, I have to say, you know, it's going to be a pretty tricky thing. Can't wait to see the video. Lauren, yeah, the video, I agree. How'd you feel? yeah, I think they all did a great job, but I haven't seen them yet. So I need to sit down and watch their presentations and see how they go. But I, I think we're going to be very impressed and it's going to be very tough. Yeah, it's definitely going to be hard from a driving point of view. Um, there was a big variety. One was quite fast, but maybe a little bit overconfident. Mm. Uh, another one was a little bit too slow, and then we had one in the middle. So um, a little bit of a little bit of a tough task ahead of us. There are some strengths that have been played today, and uh, I think it really will come down to the videos to have well, a look. I'll make sure that I've uh, renewed my contract and make sure that I still have a job at the end of this. I'm a little bit worried. And we'll be back with you guys tonight, hopefully looking uh, nicer than you do now. Yeah, oh. I hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a challenge for me personally. Abels has got another green shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fresh one. Yeah. He's going to iron that one. Our grand finalists arrive at the car advice office looking very glamorous, but you can feel the anticipation as they prepare to see their finished video for the first time and await the announcement of the winner. Welcome to uh, Car Advice HQ where the magic happens. Tegan's going to take you through to the video suite where you can see your videographer again and your review of the MX-5 today. Then we'll have you through to the studio where the judges will uh, have a bit of a chat about how the day goes. Then we'll deliberate and um, we will announce the uh, inaugural correspondent winner. So Tegan, through to the video room. All right guys, follow me. No, this isn't a Jaguar, it's not a BMW, it's not even an Audi. This is the all new Mazda MX-5 and does it look good? They've been making MX-5 since 1989. This is the fourth generation. But have they delivered this time around? The features are very easy to use. The roof, for example, there's no electronics used, just a couple of latches and you can easily put it up and down. And looking at the dash, it's all back to basics here too. You'll find there's no big coloured LCD screen. There's just a couple of knobs for the heater and air conditioner. Not too many distractions, especially when you're driving on the road. So if you've always wanted a sports car but could never be able to afford it, from 31990, the all-new Mazda MX-5 is exactly what you need. Andy? Yeah. yeah. Excited? <laughs> like t way better than I thought it was going to come out. It's very of, clean um, and clear and, it and simple and to the point and yeah, yeah really. Yeah, I, I, I loved it. We, we, should, we just had this connection. He knew what I wanted. So That's what long. you need with your cameraman. What if I told you you could get a lightweight, mid-engined, rear-wheel drive sports car for under $32,000? You'd say dream on. And that's exactly what Mazda have done when they've created the brand new Mazda MX-5. And it's arguably one of the best driver's cars on the market. So the all new Mazda MX-5 has gone above and beyond all expectations. And it's got plenty of surprises, especially the price. And about that big question, can it perform with the 1.5 litre engine? You bet it can. Ah, uh, very good. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, is it? It's really good. Excellent job. <laughs> How is yeah. it seeing, seeing it all put together? Good. Yeah, I don't know why I said 95 kilowatts. It's 96 kilowatts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, that's okay. No, everything else, yeah, excellent. Yeah.
Fast forward to 2015 and it's still the most iconic, successful roadster of all time with a million units sold. That's quite a lot and we're here to test the latest iteration here on the most deluxe section of back road that I've ever seen. Let's go see what all the fuss is about. Oh, I love it. The wind's going through my hair, messing up my silly hipster haircut. I love it. I love it. So in conclusion, when I think about buying this car, you know, I think about it, what everyone's always said to me about, you know, the Mazda MX-5. Yeah, 1.5 litres, I get my milk in that. 96 kilowatts, my mum's hair dryer has more power than that. You know what? I don't care about any of that anymore because what this car's about is pure driving pleasure. That's what I love about the MX-5 and you're going to love it too. Nice work, man. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, thanks, Matt. Nice work. Congratulations. Yeah, How did that feel? Oh, so much fun watching it back. Like, it was such a good day. Our contestants all seem happy, but now it's time to face the judges. Well, guys, congratulations once again. Uh, you've all had a chance to see your clips, which uh, we will very shortly. I've got a quick question. Did you all finish the videos? Because last time I caught up with you, you were all in the process of it. Did everyone get them done? Yes. Yeah, well done. That's great. That's a great start. <laughs> what was the best part of your day? Um, definitely the video, putting your creative mind to use and trying to picture the whole movie in your head, you know, before it was it made it to the screen um, was a big highlight for me. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to agree. I mean, just, you know, having professionals around and, and getting all the information you could to make your video the best and, you know, getting to know the car as well and in such a good location, it was, um, it was pretty amazing. Sort of a once in a lifetime opportunity it was amazing, yeah. For me it was, yeah, finally getting, being able to get out there and give the Mazda MX-5 all it's got. Yes, it was also great being able to work with professionals and, <clears throat> and get a video done quickly and with high quality. I, I, I've got to say, I had the worst couple of takes of my whole day when you guys came and watched me. I, much of like, I almost stalled the car twice and, and I just couldn't believe you guys were there, but the rest of the day went pretty good. But yeah, that was, that was a funny part. Just wait till you uh, get YouTube commenters and then, uh, you know, it's like, who is this guy? What's oh, he talking haters. about? You're like, come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. But look, fantastic work for now. If you'd like to head back through and uh, we'll start having a look. Can't wait. Yeah, exciting. Right, well done. Thank well you. done. Anton, Doug and Mandy wait nervously as our judges retire to deliberate, going back over the day with a fine tooth comb, assessing our contestants' writing skills, driving skills and the final video. All three have their strengths. It's going to be a close one. Here we are, the final of the inaugural 2015 Car Advice Correspondent Competition. Now, we have a large number of the Car Advice family here joining us for the final presentation for the winner today after a, an action-packed day. Atco, any comments for the guys? Well, for me, they're all winners in my book because I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Priority number one. Um, yeah, you did a great job today. Obviously, a lot of pressure. Uh, when I'm sitting beside someone, they always feel a little bit nervous, but uh, you all did a good job. And for the winner, um, all the best. Thanks. Uh, Lauren? Uh, yeah, first of all, congratulations to all three of you. And the videos that you produce are sensational. I work on a show where we get eight hours to do a three minute video and you've done two, hour, two minute videos in two hours. So it's an amazing achievement. And I think the crew have done a great job helping you out as well. And you've all obviously worked really well together. I was so surprised. The three videos were so different. Anton, you were full of information. You were, you were great. You look so comfortable driving the car. Your pieces to camera in the car are just perfect. And I think that's you in your comfort zone. Taken out of the car was taking you out of your comfort zone. So you really overcome that challenge and you did, did really, really well. Mandy, yours was great. It was very produced. It was very lifestyle-y, which I love. That's, that's the style I like to watch. You are mad. You've just got so many ideas in your head. Doug, you had so much going on. It was great. Your energy was unreal. Boars, any comments? Well, look, guys, I'd, personally, I'd say that if we had three spots, I'd hire all of you. Um, <laughs> because seriously, I think uh, you did an amazing job today. I think I would have done a worse job in your position, to be perfectly honest, <laughs> if I hadn't done it before. Like if, I, if I was thrown into the deep end, like you guys were, yeah, I mean, I was just amazed by the quality of the videos. All three of you were just really, really good. You know, if the two of you that don't win, I think you, would, you could make it, definitely could make it. Just on the, the, the press conference, a couple of things that I just wanted to call out there, uh, Anton, to actually go out and use the iPad to take photos and talk to Carla uh, was excellent. That's, that's what we uh, you know, love to see. 
Just a comment though, one of the, the we, we spoke to Carla about it and she, she basically gave you a, an exclusive story that you never ran. And it's like, you know, you've got all of this information and then haven't put it in. So it's like, nah. Maddie, uh, we know you didn't use the voice recorder and one of the quotes of, of Carla's actually misquoted. And it's something that, it, look, it happens all the time, but it is important to do. And it's mainly there to help you. Obviously, Doug, your experience in, in this area uh, really came through trying to file two stories as well. So without further ado, the winner of the inaugural first ever Car Advice Correspondent Competition is Mandy. Mandy makes history as the first Car Advice Correspondent scoring a three month role as a motoring journalist and a trip to the Tokyo Motor Show. Congratulations, let's go and have a drink.